Do we remember 2008? Dark, dark times. Just ahead, our economy seemingly on the brink of collapse. Our economy was free falling and couldn't find the bottom. Businesses were closing, foreclosure signs were scattered all throughout America's neighborhoods. So we turned to one man for answers. That man was Barack Obama. If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy. Tonight is your answer. But if we wanted America to fail, what exactly would we do? We would turn back the clocks on women. We would relitigate women's rights in this country. We'd get rid of Planned Parenthood, a program that provides health services for women and children. Planned Parenthood, we're going to get rid of that. We would implement new immigration laws around the country that promote racial profiling but does nothing to solve our true immigration problem. We would propose budgets that cut education and research so that we as a country can fall further behind the rest of the world. Mitt Romney says he supports your plan. Are you convinced he's a fiscal conservative? Absolutely. And are you convinced if he were president that he would enact your budget? Yeah. We would repeal the Affordable Care Act so that insurance companies can go back to the days of cherry picking and discriminating against people just because they have a pre-existing condition. And we wouldn't care about those who can't afford health care. We would promote tax policies that benefit the top 5%, even as the income gap continues to grow. We would circumvent any progress this country has made for our brothers and sisters in the LGBT community and treat them as second-class citizens. I understand that, and I know the whole gay community is trying, is trying to make this the new Civil Rights Act. It's not. It's not. We would ridicule new, clean sources of energy and do what we've always done. Drill, baby, drill, and drill now. We do nothing to reduce our independence on foreign oil. So if we want to go back to this being the news cycle each and every day. I don't know how many hundreds of billions of dollars in wealth we've lost just in three days. I've never seen a tumble like this in the stock market. 500 points one day, 450 points today, offset a little bit yesterday. Who knows what hell's coming tomorrow? Then I suggest that we go back to the past. Let's not look forward. Because if we want America to fail, let's just do those very things that I just mentioned. If we as a country are not willing to change, we as a country will fail.